Bobby Hill. Hold on. All the hills move like All the hills in Jerusalem, no matter what happens. You see how the so-called white niggas? Hey, come on. You feel me? Hey, the brother kind of moved like man. You know what I'm saying? Please. I beheld, and lo, uh -huh. there was no man. Uh -huh. And all the birds of the heavens were fled. Hey, I got a question, sis. How y'all doing? I got a question for you. What is y'all's nationality? What's your nationality, of course? Huh? So you see it, you see it? I'm here, I'm here for y'all. So you see the word black in the Bible? As pertaining to? Huh? Uh, hey, let me get Jeremiah chapter 14. You know that one. Yeah. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Let's go. Let's go. Judah morning. Judah morning. And the gate thereof lands. That means the language. That means the language. That means their rulership have been broken down. Read. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. Read. Onto the ground. The Lord said that so-called kings of the earth, which is the tribe of Judah, are black. And they are what? On the bottom of the side. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Oh, yeah. oh, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. thee. To be a special, special people. people. So the Lord has a special people that He has chosen. Read. Unto Himself. Himself. Unto Himself. Read. Above all people. Equal. Above, Above all, all people. people. So we cannot run around thinking that we're everybody's equal. But the Lord said that He. We can say that. But the Lord said He has a people that He has bestowed unto Himself. And they are above all people. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. Uh -huh. The Lord. The Lord did not set his love upon you, uh -huh. nor choose you because you were more in numbers than any people. Right. The Lord said he didn't choose you because you were more in numbers. That means that you're going to be the lesser of number of the people, right? right? You know what I'm saying? When you look at the society, we're going to take America since we live here. When we look at American society, who's the lesser of all people in this place? They call you the minority, right? You know what I'm saying? But let's see the Lord say here. It says, for you are the fewest of all people. Uh, and with the fewest of all people. Let me get this uh, verse 24. Uh, okay. Y'all read the Bible, sir? Y'all read the Bible? Yeah, Read in the Bible? Okay. <coughs> you know the story of Moses, right? Okay. And what happened with, with Egypt, right? Okay, so this is Moses. <clears throat> right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 1. Bring it out. out. These are the words of the covenant. The covenant. Which, the uh, Lord had made his covenant free. Which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. The who? The, the children, children of, of Israel. Israel. So the Lord had a chosen people, and he made a covenant with them, right? Let's go back to verse 21. 28, verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Okay. Oh. Moses is telling these people the Lord, what the Lord expects out of them. You hear me? Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, uh -huh unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth uh -huh. and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee and overtake all these blessings shall come upon these people overtake them go to verse 15 Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 because oh. the catch is read <clears throat> but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, they don't listen to God. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Let me live the way the most high God wanted you to read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is the curse a good thing or a bad thing, brother? Is the curse a good thing or a bad thing? It can be bad. But all these curses. So that means he wants to Now we gotta give the curses. Let's go to the skip, skip, skip all the way down. Let's go to the first. Let's go to this particular verse. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Uh -huh. oh, cursed shalt thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Uh -huh. It's always safe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody give me Genesis chapter uh, 3 and verse 9. 
You gotta recognize that these things really happen. Right. But Satan has a way with our sister. Man. Right. You know what I'm saying? If Jake gotta stop being weak as hell to, to, to Satan, man. Jake gotta be weak. He take always weak, man. He wants to no merit. But guess what? Let somebody step on a damn Jordan. A damn suit. Jake wanna damn blow up. But then That's he, right. you know what I'm saying? The Lord has set forth the uh, order, and we gotta follow that order, man. And it's not the damn woman being over the man. Right. Bring that out, King. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 9. Bring it out. And the Lord God go unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Hey, where you at, Adam? Brother, where you at? You know what I'm saying? Where you at, brother? Read. <coughs> and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. Hey, and then we know the Lord, the, the, the voice of the Lord uh, is spoken up by what? The prophets, right? Uh -huh. The brother heard the damn voice, man. Let's get to verse 13. Uh -huh. Verse 13. <laughs> and the Lord God said unto the woman. To who? To, to the, the woman. woman. What is this that thou hast done? Woman, what you done, done, man? You done, took the, you done took the voice of the Lord away from the brother, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We got to stop this, man. This is down. This is, this is bad, man. What's the verse 10? Verse 10. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. Uh -huh. And I hit myself. He what? I <laughs> hit myself. And the brother kind of screwed it up. <laughs> like, damn. He didn't even look back, man. Uh -huh. He was too damn tame, man. His woman did it back, man. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Hey, who told you, man? Read. Has thou eaten of the three? Uh -huh. Whereof I command thee that thou shouldest not eat. Read. And the man said, the woman who thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the three, and I did eat. Hold on, what happened out there? Read that, King. Uh, the woman. The woman. The what? The, the woman. woman. Hey, she gave she gave the man her fruits, man. Hey, we, hey, we about to be late. You know what I'm saying? And then, hey, the man didn't eat, man. Verse 14, man. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, uh -huh. because thou hast done this, Thou art cursed above all cattle. Uh-huh. Verse 6. Verse 6. Verse 6. Uh-huh. Verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good uh -huh. for food. Hey, we got to go to the party, man. Three. And that it was blessed uh -huh. to, to the eye and a tree to be desired to make one wise. Uh-huh. So, yeah, listen, to make one wise, man. And that's what happened to our sisters today. They think they're wise. So -called, the so-called white men have given them authority to do such in, in Babylon, man. So therefore, they have bestowed this authority upon the men, man. And now the men have been dumbed down to a low point, man. Let me get Isaiah chapter 3, man. Let's yeah. start at verse 4, man. Yeah. They've been dumbed down to a certain point. We follow the woman, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they ought to do what? They ought to change the name of that damn game back in the day. Do what Simon says. Man, they're doing what Simone says, man. Damn, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we that's how we know we down we've been preached, man. The gates that are of our language. We won't even speak up for our damn self, man. Whatever the so-called black woman says, we do. You know what I'm saying? Bring that out. Uh, this is the book of 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Bring it out. But I will have you know. Hold on, bro, I got a scripture for you. I want you to listen to it. The book oh, of 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man. The what? The, the head, head of every man, man. What? is Christ. Is Christ. And the and the head of the woman is the man. The what? And the head of the woman is the man. Brother, you were supposed to stand up, bro. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want to hear that, man. They want to do what just said Eve, man. Just said Eve. You know what I'm saying? They can Eve go A. My, my, my girl got good bread. I'm going to give her my good bread. You got a million dollars in there, pocket. You got the treasures of heaven in your, in your heart. And, and, and you worried about the woman's good credit, man. The woman made a pact with the hell man. In Genesis 3, man. Don't you understand that? You know? Let me get to Genesis 3 and 19. The Lord got a judgment for her, too, man. Why would you follow somebody that's got a judgment upon them and the Lord has made them up underneath them? You know what I'm saying? Somebody give me Job, give me Job chapter 39 verse 17, man. No. You know, because the Lord Bring spoke these things out. first, man. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it out. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, uh -huh. till thou return to the ground. Let's see, look. That's what we have to do. That's what we have to do, man. Go to verse 16. Verse 16. Uh -huh. And to the woman he said, 
I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. I will do what? I, I will, will greatly, greatly multiply, multiply thy, thy sorrow. sorrow. I will do follow somebody that the Lord has told you this person, I'm going to multiply their sorrow. Right. It don't matter what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And he still multiplied sorrow. That's man. right. I said, I'm trying to turn it to you. Hold it. He said he's going to multiply his damn sorrow. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord said he's going to multiply Esau's sorrow. That's right. right. And you want to follow away. Man, look at that, what happened down there, man. Right. And the way they came to grab. Because the brother was kind of like, the brother got, hold on, I got it. Right here. Come on. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Why would you follow somebody like that, man? Read the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, and verse 18. The Lord said you were going to bow it in. That's, That's right. right. Why are you going to follow him, man? Stop separating your damn self from these damn devils, man. That's spoken up in Sirach, chapter 6, verse 13. Right. Put that out. Yeah. Hold on. What you holding? Genesis. All right. Put that out. Genesis. Yeah. Exactly. It's the book of Job, chapter 39, verse 17. Yeah. Because God had deprived her of wisdom. He did what? God had deprived her of wisdom. So does she have wisdom to say, brother, we finna leave. We ain't got no damn wisdom. Move. The brothers up at the promise of the Lord, man, they got wisdom. Right. Yahweh, why Yahweh style has wisdom, man. Oh, right. He's written this thing and spoken out by the mouth of his prophet, man. And you're going to follow a damn fool, man. Anybody with no wisdom is a fool, man. Okay? Read that out again, King. Stop from the top. Fine. Job chapter 39, verse 17. Get out. Right? Because God had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted her to understand it. She don't even understand what's going on, man. She don't understand what's going on here. She don't understand what's going on between her and Satan. She don't understand between what's going on with Satan's uh, physical counterpart, Esau, man. Esau said, I'm going to give you good credit. Put the nigga out the house. I'm going to give you damn food. Put the nigga out the house. I'm going to give you shelter. Put the nigga out the house, man. Get the strong man out of here. You know what I'm saying? Jake, she got the food back. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. We got to come out of this damn thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me get uh, Proverbs 122, man. We got to start coming out of the ways of Babylon, man. That's the right. ways of Babylon is set forth on the path of destruction, man. Right. The damn boat would be about to hit the largest place. Sister, 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 I got a, I got a couple of scriptures for y'all. Y'all want to hear it? Hey, man, that's how we are, man. Do Roman tell us for me. Isaiah 32, read that out. All right, this is book of Isaiah 32 and 1. Nine. Behold. Behold. Nine. A king shall reign in righteousness. Verse 9. Okay. nine. And we just seen it, man. The Lord made it manifest, man. That's why I called it. I hope it was given now. But the Lord made it manifest right here. We asked the sisters a question. They, you know what I'm saying? They don't give a damn about Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Read it, our king. Uh, Isaiah 32 and 9. Uh -huh. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. The Lord, hey, the Lord did man. We got a question. We got a question. What's your answer now? Nationality. What's the nationality? You're black. You're black? Yes. Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever read the Bible? Not enough. You, you believe in God? Yeah. yeah. God said that he created 18 nations. He, did he say I'm creating black men? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, look, listen, we, we, we actually cross reference and we filter the word black through dark brown colored people, right? You know what I'm saying? But do you understand that when you read in the Bible, you see a lot, a plethora of different nations that were dark brown people, right? You know what I'm saying? Today they put the issue that all these people are the same, right? You know what I'm saying? Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Huh? The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So you got all these dark nations. But out of this particular man, did, the Lord yeah. said, this nation, okay? This particular nation, he has chosen for himself, read. Above all people. Equal to all people. Above, above all, all people. people. So the Lord got a nation that he puts above all people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Above all people, read. That are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. Now you look at here sometimes when you walk down these streets, you see a lot of different nations. They have Chinese man, the Japanese, the Indian, the Arabic, you feel me? But the Lord said, this particular people is that nation that's above all people that's in the earth, okay? We're gonna find out who that nation is, huh? Sorry, I didn't know that. We're gonna find out who that people are, man. Right. We get to the Romans chapter what? 28. Alright. Verse 15. Bring it out. 
29 and 1. Uh-huh. Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 1. Bring it out. Oh. These are the words of the covenant uh-huh. which the Lord commanded right. Moses right. to make with the children of Israel. To who? The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. So that's who the Lord was talking to. The Lord had Moses talking to the children of Israel. Right? Right. It's right. the book of Deuteronomy. Yeah, they just came out of they just came out of Egypt. You know what I'm saying? You ever, hey, you ever get out of jail, right? You know, you go home, you talk to your granddaddy, you know what I'm saying, or your pops, you feel me? And they say, I'm just using this as a metaphor of, of, of black people, so-called black people today. They get out of jail, you know what I'm saying, and you just got out. You know, mama gonna tell you, or daddy gonna tell you, look, man, don't you take your ass back in here. This is what you need to do to get right. Okay, it's the same thing's happening here, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord uses these, these different uh, similar to man. Bring that out again, kid. Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 1. Uh-huh. You know, these are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. To who? With the, the children, children of, of Israel. Israel. In the land of Moab, beside the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. Alright, go to verse 28. So the Lord talked to the children of Israel. He's making a covenant with them. You know what I'm saying? This is a special people, a chosen people. Only one person I'm talking to. The Lord said, I'm dealing with one people. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me get Amos chapter 2 and verse 1, man. 3 and verse 1, man. Well, I said, this is, how, this is how important the Lord is dealing with these people, man. Bring that out. Well, it's Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Uh-huh. You know, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Oh, who? O children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family. Against the whole family. Not no singled out. Not this brother. Not that brother. Not this brother. He said the whole family. <coughs> all of Jacob's children. All of whom? The chosen seed that came from Abraham. Read. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. He did what? Brought up from, from the, the land, land of, of Egypt. Egypt. This is the first he just spoke of the covenant that he made with them. How did he brought them out of the land of Egypt? Read. Same. You only have I known. I deal with everybody. You, you only, only have, have I known. Know. No, everybody's my friend. You, you only, only have, have I know. known. I'm the God of everybody. You, you only, only have I known. I know he's the God of everybody. And he said, this is the only person that I know. Read. Of all the families. Of all who? Of, of all, all the, the families. families. All the 18 nations of the earth that the Lord has created upon the earth for himself, right? Read. Of the earth. Uh-huh. Therefore, I will punish you. He will do what? I, I will, will punish you. you. Read. For your all oh, your iniquity. He said he's gonna punish these people for this. Now let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 15, 28, verse 15. Now we get to find out where these punishments come from. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Wow. Oh, it says, but it's <coughs> if thou would not ask of the Lord thy God. So Moses telling them, man, look, man, look, if y'all don't listen to God, if y'all don't do what he's about to tell, what we just told you. He got some things going on that the Most High gonna take care of some business. But you don't want to be a part of the Most High business, man. Not in that fashion, man. We want to be on this side of his business. You That's know what right. I'm saying? Right. Bring that out, King. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do what? To all his, his commandments. commandments. All his commandments. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. Uh-huh. That all, all these, these curses. curses. All these what? All, all these, these curses. curses. It's a curse of good or bad thing, brother. It's a curse of good or bad thing. It's a bad thing, right? Yeah. Let's get down to verse 32. Verse 32. Watch this. It says, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Do you know of any people, particular family of the earth that was given, their sons and their daughters got given to another people? Africans. Okay. That's it, please. And I shall look and fail with longing for uh-huh. them and all the day long. All the day long, read. And there shall be no might in thine head. The so-called African-American man. Could he fight back then? I'm saying, sorry. The people, the people that you said, could uh-huh. they fight back? Could they, show, could they show some resistance on what was going on? No, they were overtook him though, right? Yeah. yeah. Read that part, the last part again. It says, and there shall be no might in thine head. The Lord said, there shall be no might in thy hand. We still to this day that these particular people have no might in their hands, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's get down to verse 47, 37. Verse 37. Uh-huh. Get out. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Astonishment, read. A proverb. A what? A, a proverb. proverb. Read. And a right. byword. What was my first question to you? What was your nationality? Yeah. We done it that one good thing. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh-huh. A proverb. A proverb, the lady. Read. And a byword. A what? A and byword. a byword. A byword, 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 a
Among all nations. Among who? Among, Among all, all nations. nations. Among the Chinese man, the so-called white man, the Indian man, the Arabic man, and all the damn Ethiopian man and all the nations of the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord is talking to these people, man. Let me get another verse. Verse 54. Verse 54. Sound off, brothers. Oh. It reads, so that the man that is tender among you uh -huh. and very delicate. Remember back in the 60s and the 50s, all people, hey, what's going on, soul, brother? They didn't have to know it. They were tender with each other, really. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Whose eye is evil toward his brother in 2021 in damn Babylon, man? In the land of America, the great, whose eye is evil towards his own brother? Everybody. Huh? Everybody. Brother, who on a large level, who's killing their own people? Black people. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother, Reed. And towards the wife of his bosom. Uh huh. Domestic yeah. violence. Who got the most highest domestic violence rate? We do. Okay, read. And towards the remnant of his children. His what? The remnant, remnant of, of his, his children. children. Read. Which, Which he shall, shall leave. Who leave that? Who don't believe in their children, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, it's no question. Just go down to verse. Go down to verse. Uh, go down to verse 48. Verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. The what? Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. enemies. Let me ask a question. Ever since that particular family got off slave ships, who would they serve? Who owns all this? White folks. Huh? White folks. Who built it up, though? We did. Yes. Okay. Read, therefore, but that means we had to serve these people, right? Mm -hmm. Read that again, too. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord sent them against these people, right? Right. Read. In hunger. In what? In hunger. In what? In hunger. When the last time you ate, brother? About 20 minutes ago. Where you went to eat at? Full court. Who owned that? The white folks. Okay. Right. The Lord said you got food from them, read. And thirst. And what? And thirst. Where you get your water from at the house? Okay, and then thirst, read. And and naked. These clothes we got. Okay, read. And in what of all oh, things? And what of all things? It don't matter what it is, man. If damn, man, Jake, go get the cigarello. This is my block. All this, man, the damn Chinese men, you got the, the foolishness of America. We buy everything they put in the front of our face. You feel me? You know, we got the view bar and grill, right? All that. The damn Jewish man owns all these things. If you hate my hands or whatever. But guess what? You know this food ain't good. It's mama food in the house. It ain't never been that good. But guess what? We, we got to go to them and order all things, read. Right? Right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. When you look at the older pictures of slavery, what did our ancestors have on their neck? Change. And a yoke of iron, right? He shall put a what? A yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who did this to us? White man. What the Lord called it, though? All right. Go back to the top of that. Watch this. Read it. That top of that verse. Let's see what the Lord called him. Pay attention. Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. So what? Serve, serve thy enemies. enemies. No matter what corporation you work for, you work for somebody who got money built off of the slave. Okay? Right. The Lord said they were your enemy. He That's didn't right. say you have no friends awesome. or none of that. Okay? Right. Watch right. this. Verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. How, get do, out. how do we get here, brother? How do we get here? Okay, all right, let's see what the Lord say. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. What were the Israelites doing in Egypt? I'm not sure. What did Moses deliver them from? Slavery, right? Yeah. They were slaves to the Egyptians. Okay. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, Egypt again. again. Uh, to who? Into Egypt, Egypt again. again. So the Lord's bringing these people back into slavery again. You know what I'm saying? And you got to realize that, look, the children of of Abraham and Isaac or the children of who? The bloodline seed goes to who? Jacob, right? You know what I'm saying? So the Israelites are Jacob's children and then the children of Abraham. Let's see if the Lord told Abraham of this about his seed in Genesis. Genesis chapter 15 and verse 15, 13. Man. Get out. Watch this. Give me 13 and skip down to 10. Genesis man. chapter 15 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Get out. 13. 13. Uh huh. And he said unto Abraham. The Lord told Abraham, read. No of of a surety. Abraham's worried. This one he worried about him even having children, remember? 
Read. That thy seed. That they what? Thy seed. seed. And the seed, the word seed comes from a Greek word sperm, which means sperm. Yes. Okay, read. Shall be a stranger. Shall be a what? A, a stranger. stranger. Shall be a stranger, read. In a land that is not theirs. In a stranger in a land that is not theirs, read. Okay. And shall serve them. And tell what? And, and shall, shall serve them. them. Serve them, read. And they shall afflict them. The Egyptians did what? Shall afflict afflict them. them. Okay, and these are the modern day Egyptians, man. Read. 400 years. 400 years, man. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that number is satanic to come back in the Bible, man. The, the, the white man is the mind day Egyptian. Come. Hey, your brother figured, your brother figured it out, man. Let's get down to verse 16. Uh, verse 16. Uh -huh. But in the fourth generation. And we back here again. Read. They shall come hither again. The Lord said they're going to come back into slavery again. Okay? So that was promised to Abraham. So that was going to happen. That's a prophecy in Genesis chapter 15 and verse 13 through 16. Now let's go back to verse 68 real quick. Watch this. Genesis, so like in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. How we got here, brother? Ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it. Thou shalt see it no, no more again. again. See no homeland back no more again, every brother. Read. And there they shall be sold unto your enemies. Yeah, to be what? You shall, shall be sold, sold unto your, your enemies. enemies. Everybody had a damn quack my all these other famous so-called rich white folks name or money. All them bought slaves. You should be sold unto who? Your, your enemies. enemies. Read, King. For bond men, For slave men, <coughs> and bond women, slave women, and no man shall buy. And that word buy is going back into redeeming. Okay, and that's who's gonna do the redeem? You know. Tell me. Can't Give me Luke 1 and 68, man. Oh, can't miss this book Luke. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of, of Israel. Israel. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He has redeemed and redeemed his people. The word, the plain <coughs> is his it's a possessive pronoun. You know what I'm saying? Thy, your, <coughs> our. Those are possessive words. The Lord said he had revisited and redeemed who? His people. Uh huh. And has raised up a horn of salvation. Who's, for the, who's the horn of salvation, brother? Jesus. <coughs> Christ. Right, read. For us. For who? For, for us. us. Everybody. For, for us. us. Read. In the house of his servant David. Uh huh. As he spake by the mouth of his holy, holy prophet. Prophets. He had did what? He spake by the mouth oh, of his holy, holy prophet. prophet. Read. We have been since the world began. Which have been since the world began, read. Right. That we should be saved. We shall be what? We that should we be, should be saved. saved. Find out who we're going to be saved from, though. Everybody loves <laughs> the salvation, right? Mm -hmm. Salvation, salvation, man. Everybody wants to be saved. Everybody want to be saved, man. This salvation is for who? Read it, read it again, King. From the top. From the top. And just read top. it all. A blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of this one people. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. His possession, read. And hath raised up a horde of salvation for us. Christ, a.k.a. Yahweh, shall I read? In the house of his servant David. Uh-huh. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Read. Which have been since the world Prophet. began. Uh -huh. That we should be saved from our enemies. From who? From uh, our enemies. From who? From uh, our enemies. enemies. Ain't we still up under the same people? Read. And from the hand of, of all, all the them. haters. Uh-huh. That to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, uh -huh. the oath which he swore to our, our father the, Abraham. The oath that he swore to Abraham. Genesis 15 is going to the oath that he was given with Abraham. Oh, so you, you get what I'm saying? He told Abraham this. Abraham, this is what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Baruch 2 and 30. What you got, Pete? Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. Bring it out! For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. And this is the Apostle Paul talking. You know, read. For my brother. For who? For my, my brother. brother. Who's your brother, bro? Who's your, when you look around, who's your brother? Everybody. Everybody's your brother? We good. For my brother. For who? My brother. Uh huh. My kinsman. My what? My, my kinsman. kinsman. Who's your kinsman, brother? I'm not sure. Read. According to the flesh. Or what? According, According to the flesh. When you look around, who look like you? Everybody here? Who came out of the slave ship with your ancestors? Everybody here? Let's read that again now. Stop at the top. For I can wish that myself were a curse from Christ. Uh -huh. For my brother. For what? For, For my, my brother. brother. Read. My kinsmen. The people that are kin to you, read. According, According to, to the, the flesh. Uh-huh. 
Who are Israelites? 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 We see these things, man. If you cannot let go of the day, they do not want to let go of Esau, man. They don't want to let go of the day. They don't want to let go of their oppressor, man. Hey, brother, you got a question? in the Bible is the Israelites waking up and finding out who they are. Right. You feel me? Biggest problem. You know what I'm saying? What happens every time God sends the prophets in the earth? They act like they can't hear it or they jump to whatever the prophets The Lord, the Lord, what happens is the Lord comes up, he raises up prophets to go into our ways and by ways <coughs> and send them to his people, the Israelites, right. and tell them death, destruction. Let me get uh, Jeremiah chapter 28, man. Uh, verse 8, watch this. So that's what's coming to this place, man. That's right. Death and destruction is coming to America, man. Right. And we have to warn our people, man. We're blowing the trumpet, man. You know what I'm saying? Read. Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. Oh, no. The prophets that have been before me. The what? That have been right. before me. All the prophets that's in the Bible, man, that's prophesied before we came out here and prophesied these last days. Read. And before thee of old uh -huh. prophesied both against many countries. Oh, we prophesied what? Against, against many, many countries. countries. We're not here to prophesy that we love everybody. We're not prophesying that God is going to save everybody. We're right. here to prophesy to the children of Israel to repent and come back to the Most High God That's before right. the Lord destroys this place, man. That's right. Read, King. Both against many countries uh -huh. and against great kingdoms. And what? Against great, great kingdoms. And we know America is that great kingdom, the great Babylon, man. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? The Lord had gave us promises, man. Let me show you what one of these promises is. Another one? What you mean? Let me get Psalms chapter 137. I ain't getting Verse 7. Yeah. Let's see what the Lord says is going to happen in that day that you're looking for, brother. You know what I'm saying? And all praise to y'all about you, y'all side. We got a brother that's looking for that destruction. That's right. Man. You know what I'm saying? Read. So. Chapter 137 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. Who the white man? The children of Edom. And the day of Jerusalem. And the day what? And the day of Jerusalem. The day we fell, brothers. Read. Who said? Raise it. Tear it down. Raise it. Tear it down. Raise it. Uh huh. Even to the foundation thereof. All the way down. Read. O oh daughter of Babylon. Oh what? O oh daughter of Babylon. Read. Who ought to be destroyed? Who what? Who ought to be destroyed? Read. Happy shall we be. I'm going to be happy in that day, bro. This is the happiness that we're looking for, bro. Read. That rewarded thee as thou hast served us. That what? That rewarded thee uh -huh. as thou hast served us. Hey, I, hey. Everybody know Jake love get back. So-called so -called black man in America, we love get back. You feel me? But this is going to be the mightiest and the happiest and the most joyful get back, man. This is what's going to happen in that day. Read, King. Happy shall he be uh -huh. that taketh oh, and dasheth thy little ones against the soul. And do what? That taketh and dasheth thy little ones against, against the soul. Didn't they murder our children? Don't they murder our children in the streets today? You know what I'm saying? They do all these battles. Let me get the book of Zach uh, Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 7, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 11 and verse 5. Read that out, King. Watch this, man. It's the same thing that's going on. Read it. Read that out real quick. Uh-huh. Zechariah, chapter 11, uh -huh. and verse 5. Uh-huh. Whose possessor slay Who what? Whose Who's possessor slay They do what to us? Whose possessor slay Read. And, and hold, hold themselves, themselves not guilty. And they do what? And hold, hold themselves not guilty. Now go back to heaven. Let's find out what's going to make us happy again. Let me get the book of Obadiah, Obadiah chapter verse 18. Here. Go on, this is the book of Obadiah. 18. Uh -huh. no. And the house of Jacob uh -huh. shall be a fire. Yeah. And the house of Joseph uh -huh. a flame. And what? A, a flame. flame. Read. And the house of Esau. The house of 
The house of who? The house of Esau. Uh -huh. Or stubble. Or stubble, man. The Lord said, they're going to be brought down. Read. And they shall kindle in them. And the them. And what? And the bowers. We're going to do what? And, and the bowers. What? And, and the bowers. That sounds so damn good, man. Read. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. A few of them. And, and there shall wow. be not any remaining. None of them. Remaining. Thank you, thank you, bro. brother. I got one more for you, though, Bray. Bring that out, King. Isaiah 51. Verse 23. Right. Watch this, Watch the Lord say, man. We're going to start for 20. Read that. 21. Read that out. Isaiah 51. You said 21. Verse 21. 21. Uh -huh. Therefore, here, now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus said the Lord, uh -huh. the Lord, and the God that pleased.